Hello everybody, welcome to another Nephilim build. Today we're going to look for our other half as V from Devil May Cry V. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with the ability scores. Using the sand point to put the 15 to charisma, he's got that soft emo boy charm. Next is the 14 dexterity, his body's falling apart so we need to dodge. After that is the 13 and 12 in intelligence and wisdom, he was playing some 5D chess in that game. We'll put the 10 to strength and dump constitution. Did I mention his body is falling apart? For race, we'll go with variant human. That's what happens when you rip the devil out of you. We'll put it increases into charisma, dexterity, and take the inspiring leader feat. Nothing raises morale like reading some Blake. We'll also take performance to speak common and infernal. We'll make a custom background picking history and religion and speaking abyssal and deep speech. Moving on to class, we're going to start off as a fiend warlock. V is probably the most literal one-to-one -one warlock we've ever made. He actually makes a pact with three different demons and somehow has all three pact boons to show for it. You'll see what I mean in a bit. We'll get wisdom and charisma saving throws, take our con and deception for skills, and be proficient with light armor and simple weapons. At level 1 we'll get Dark One's Blessing and 2 cantrips. We'll take Eldritch Blast and Lightning Lure for some basic griffin attacks. We'll also get 2 spells, taking Witch Bolt for more griffin lightning and Arms of Hadar for some shadow tentacles. At level 2 we'll get our invocations, taking Agonizing Blast and Armor of Shadows. We'll also take Expeditious Retreat to pick up some speed. At level 3 we'll get our Pack Boon, taking Pack to the Tome to get our book. This will give us three cant trips, which we'll use to take Sword Burst and Shocking Grasp, as well as Shillelagh. We can now use our cane with our charisma, meaning we're basically a diet hexblade now. We'll also take Misty Step for a teleport. At level 4, we'll take the Skell Expert feat, bumping Dexterity, taking Perception, and Expertising Deception. We'll also take Booming Blade for bigger cane smacks and protection from evil and good. At level 5, we'll take Book of Ancient Secrets, taking Detect Magic and Find Familiar to get Griffin. We're now a diet chain lock on top of being a diet hexblade. Tome locks are kind of a sleeper choice. We'll also take Earthbind to yoink flying enemies down. At level 6 we'll get Dark One's own luck and Hunger of Hadar for even more shadow nonsense. He can basically be anything. We're now going to multiclass to Bard getting proficiency in investigation and the Theller as well as Bardic inspiration. We'll start with two cantrips taking Prestigitation and Vicious Mockery. It's up to you if V or Griffin are delivering the burn. We'll also get four spells taking Longstrider to move and Featherfall to float with Griffin. We'll also take Thunder Wave for Round Robin and Silvery Barbs for more smack talk. At level 2 we'll get Song of Rest, Jack of All Trades, and Magical Inspiration, and take your wounds for Vital Stars. At level 3 we'll get our Bard College, taking the College of Eloquence for Silver Tongue and Unsettling Words. We'll also take Expertise in Religion and Performance, and take Spray of Cards. Didn't know this spell had come out, but this is Royal Fork. At level 4 we'll raise our Charisma and take Blade Ward and Kinetic Jaunt for some Jukes. At level 5 we'll get D8 Inspiration, Font of Inspiration, and Shatter for another Round Robin. At level 6 we'll get Counter Charm, Universal Speech, and Unfailing Inspiration, as well as Cloud of Daggers for the Shadow Buzzsaw. At level 7 we'll take Phantasmal Killer for more Shadow Fuckery. At level 8 we'll cap our Charisma and take Enhance Ability, and at level 9 we'll get D8 Song of Rest and Bard Knowledge. He might only be Virgil's human half, but that's still half a guy who's good at everything. Except being a dad. At level 10 we'll get D10 Inspiration, Expertise in Arcana and History, and Magical Secrets. We'll go with Spike Growth and Navard's Black Tentacles for even more shadow shit. We'll also take Friends to fill the slot. At level 11 we'll take Aid for more HP, and at level 12 we'll take the Warcast defeat. At level 13 we'll get D10 Song of Rest and Earth Tremor to have Nightmare pop up for a ground pound. Speaking of the big guy, at level 14 we'll get Infectious Inspiration and more Magical Secrets, taking Summon Fiend to Summon Nightmare and Sunbeam for the laser. Sadly, you can't use both at once. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. For inventory, we'll take a quarter staff and a component pouch. Our AC with Armor of Shadows is 16, our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 83 with 20 D8 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Now what can this build do? To start, we've got a lot of great battlefield options, ranged damage, and surprisingly meaty melee attacks. We're also a pretty reliable skill monkey with plenty of proficiencies, expertises, jack of all trades, and spells to boost them all further. For weaknesses, a stiff breeze will knock us over and most of our kit requires concentration. Speaking of, a dumped constitution means our concentration checks suck even with advantage on them. Plus, if we fight anyone with power word kill, then we're already dead. Weaknesses aside, we're still cool enough to have the game named after us. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. One dollar a month gives you two daily access to my videos, a chance to vote for future characters, and access to all of my homebrew content. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next week when I make death from Puss in Boots.